Have you dreamed of travelling along the stars, exploring and helping those you meet along the way? Have you wanted to be able to build whatever you want? Well, the game you're looking for is LEGO Worlds. The game was first teased in 2015 in LEGO construction booklets. It was finally released in the spring of 2017, initially for the PS4, Switch, PC and Xbox One. LEGO Worlds is a sandbox adventure game where the entire game is entirely made of LEGO, unlike most games prior. Most games decided to have interactable objects be made out of LEGO, but the rest of the world as smooth textures. At first, you might think that this game would run terribly, but the game is well optimised, allowing for individual block manipulation. The game contains the full catalogue of LEGO bricks that were in use in 2017, which to me is quite impressive. The game itself was created to coast on the hype of Minecraft and mix it with the gameplay of more traditional LEGO games. Following this, the music soundtrack was composed by Rob Westwood, who had worked on previous LEGO games by Traveller's Tales, such as LEGO Batman games, LEGO Jurassic World, and LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. But unlike these titles, all the music is ambient background themes instead of action music. However, Rob absolutely smashes it out of the park with the soundtrack, really leading into all of the weird biomes and worlds you can find. Talking of biomes, there are 27 base biomes that vary from underwater to in the skies, and 3 DLC biomes that you can buy, these being the classic space slash moon, Monster Town from the Monster DLC, and the free Winter Wonderland pack released in 2017. Content wise, the game starts you off by dropping you on a world and starts off the tutorial, making you find your first tools and how to use them. In the game, you will use these tools to help characters and get to golden bricks that help you progress. The tasks themselves are small and can sometimes be a bit finicky. Just on one very simple task, it took me 5 minutes because of a single brick that was in the way. But in a couple of hours, you can get enough gold bricks to start unlocking differently sized worlds and customization. The game provides you with a lot of creativity and it aims for you to explore as well. With the discovery tool, you can find decorations and vehicles that you can use to bring your creations to life. The block tool allows you to manipulate on a block by block basis, having access to the entire block collection. However, the blocks are unlocked by finding little creatures who have new blocks for you. The copy tool allows you to copy and paste any builds you make, speeding up the process, and also allowing you to share online. The paint tool does what it says on the tin. The landscape tool allows you to manipulate the land how you see fit and it's very well made, it's very intuitive and one of the best landscape tools I have ever seen in a game. Looking at you... Free build is a combination of all the existing tools and gives you more control over them as well. The game really allows you to do what you want, and what more could you ask for? As the game is supposed to be Minecraft-like, everyone assumed it would have a survival mode of some type. During the E3 of 2017, there was announced a teaser trailer for a new DLC-only game mode, Survivor, which hyped up fans. However, this game mode never came to pass, and because of the prolonged uncertainty of the DLC, and the decreasing hype for it over time led to many fans becoming distrustful of Traveller's Tales promises. About the fall of LEGO Worlds, John Hodkinson, the game director, in an interview has said, We would have liked to have impacted a bit of culture, and maybe we did but it was relatively short-lived compared to Minecraft. The games industry is littered with Minecraft likes that have done quite well, but then disappeared. And you know, I don't feel bad that LEGO World is one of those. I do think it sits alone in TT's library because when you see that box on the shelf, you know it's a creative experience. That's pure LEGO bricks. It's kind of a love letter to the LEGO brick. Another factor that added to it not performing well is the fact that in 2017, the Bedrock update for Minecraft occurred bring cross-platform play to several devices and spiking the amount of sales for Minecraft that year. Another issue is that the development team wanted to purely play on LEGO's IPs, not commercial ones. As in a wide interview, Chris Rose states, 
For now, we've taken the approach that LEGO Dimensions is the mashup. We'd like Wells to sit in its own little bubble for now and be free of those IP approaches. We're trying to focus it heavily on LEGO themes, city, creator, minifigs, for characters, and we found that working quite well. We don't want to overdo it. It's nice to have a game that isn't tied to many other franchises. However, in a lot of reviews I've noticed on the Steam page, that fans did want a few of these older IPs such as LEGO Batman, who after the movie became his own entity. The lack of diversity from popular IPs may have led to this downfall of the game. From the beginning of the game's lifespan, they gave up brick builds you could download every so often. These were sometimes themed to seasons or holidays, and on occasion, they were themed towards recent LEGO promotions like LEGO Ninjago. This kept fans into the game for two years, but eventually, on the 8th of July 2019, the final post was made showing the final brick builds that were to be set in the game. After two years of several quality of life updates and hundreds of brick builds, the fire that was LEGO Worlds was extinguished. It's unfortunate that such a promising game was left by the wayside as it had so much going for it. Personally, I love LEGO Worlds and would love to see another project made similar to it. We have gotten LEGO Builder's Journey and LEGO Brick Tales which are beautifully rendered and if they ever made a LEGO Worlds 2, using this lighting engine would be astronomical. One of my big criticisms was that you couldn't make vehicles in the game, and a lot of other fans felt this way too. However, as I'm writing the script, I found LEGO was working on a new game, LEGO 2K Drive, which is a vehicle building game. Which it is more aligned with older LEGO games, as it still has non-LEGO assets, but the customization is amazing, and I can't wait for it to come out in 2023. What do you think of LEGO Worlds? Have you played it? Or do you want to try it out? That'll be the end of today's video. Feel free to subscribe and join the Discord server below.